Well, hello, it's Debbie Gilbert here uh, with the Aga Communities, and I'm going to be baking today a chunky guacamole salad. I want to uh, talk to you a little bit about um, avocados that we use for um, the guacamole, and it'll be a chunky recipe, but uh, avocados, when you get them and you know they're ready, they're, they're kind of soft feeling, and uh, so it, it's important as you're making these to, for your avocado to be right. Other, otherwise, it's going to be, you'll have some hard pieces uh, in your salad, so you don't want to do that. But some of the things that you might want to know about avocado is they're a Mediterranean type fruit um, grown in really warm weather in Mexico and some of the areas around the Caribbean. Um, they are heart healthy. They consist of a, uh, they're high in fat, but it's a fat that is healthy for your heart and for your system. They have a good um, metabolic uh, health to them. They help with, uh, uh, studies have shown they help lower cholesterol and triglycerides. They have vitamins E, K, Bs. Um, a lot of potassium, they have more potassium than a banana does. Um, they, usually people who eat uh, avocado on a consistent basis throughout three to six months will notice a, um, a lower weight, so they help with your diet. And they are a soluble uh, fiber, so they're very good for helping to heal like leaky gut. Um, you can eat an avocado, you can just take a spoon, scoop it out and eat it that way or you can use it in different salads. But I plan on grilling some salmon later to this evening and so I'm going to fix this chunky guacamole salad to um, serve on the side of here. I got the recipe actually from uh, a website called Women of Today and so there's lots of healthy recipes on that site. Uh, as you know, I have a um, diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis, and I have been on the autoimmune solution diet trying to help resolve some of my issues. And so, at currently, uh, I am off medication for rheumatoid arthritis. I will occasionally have some small flare-ups, but they usually leave fairly quickly. So. I'm doing everything that I can for my part to uh, do as Hippocrates said, let food be your medicine. Um, so, uh, it, it's a simple recipe, it's, it's very easy to make, and the first thing I'm going to do is just take my avocados, I'm going to just, uh, put my knife in here and just roll around. There's a a large round pit seed in the middle of these. And so once you get those sliced off, well, that was a little thin there. We're, I'm going to take my knife and hit down on the seed, try to flip it around, just twist it, and it'll come right out, and you just discard the seed. Um, then I'm just gonna take my knife and score in here, it's just, I'm cutting little squares, and I'm going to uh, take a spoon and just uh, scoop the inside out. Now, I always like to get, especially the, uh, that's a little bit of the core there, so let me get that off there, don't want that in the salad. It's a little bit of a slick food. It's going all over the bowl. Okay, but you can see it's dark green on the inside, and so I'm gonna scoop that out because that's a healthy part of the avocado. Um, get that out of there. I love to cook. Um, for a lot of people that I talk to about changing their diet for rheumatoid arthritis, they're really concerned because um, this particular diet goes away from things that have been a part of the American Standard Diet. And 
So some people will say, I really don't think I like avocados, so I didn't keep that up. Let me just keep that up a little bit. And then we'll break it apart when we stir it. So I'm going to do actually five. These are kind of small, so I'm going to do five for this particular salad. Um, but yeah, we've gone away from things like sugar and uh, not all sugars, but sh refined sugars. I've, I've done away with that in my diet and done away with all wheat products. I'm gluten free at this point. Um, so um, I'm eating meat. I can eat most any meat for me. Uh, I can't do, I can't tolerate the red meat because when I do, I notice that um, I have some flare-ups. And so, I'm eating chicken and salmon, uh, some other seafoods. I can eat shrimp um, and I eat some tenderloin, pork tenderloin. Um, I eat uh, nitrate-free bacon. So, there's some meats that... Um, I eat and and certainly for most people they can eat red meat but it's just seems that I've not been able to do that so anyway just learning to work through this and accept what works for me one thing that is really important that I have learned and I guess I've learned it the hard way is that um, at the point that we can embrace our situation and, and it just I've just embraced that I have rheumatoid arthritis and uh, it's what it is for me right now so instead of being angry at my body or um, angry at God uh, because of this or you know angry at myself for eating so poorly in the past which I have um, I've just begun to embrace myself, to love myself, um, to uh, keep the right perspective with God who loves me and is not punishing me by my diet. But I, I've, since I've learned to embrace myself and love myself through this process, then it's a lot easier to try new things. So for some people, I was saying earlier, they say, well, I don't think I like uh, avocado. Well, uh, if you can try it different ways and different recipes, you may just find that you like it a lot more than you thought you did. So, uh, for me, I, I just love it. Sometimes I can just sit down and just have a snack and scoop the inside out uh, of the avocado and just love it because it just has a very creamy, to me, a creamy, almost a buttery kind of taste. Um, but to me, I love it. So let's get these sliced on around. Another thing uh, about avocado is uh, it's it has a pretty good life. I bought these this week. I've had them in the refrigerator, um, so I've had them a few days, and uh, they, they hold fairly well. Um, I just try to buy them and use them in the week that I actually need them. So this time of year, it's been easy to find what I need. So, uh, another thing I think to remember when you have any kind of illness, whether it's um, cancer or uh, autoimmune disease or diabetes, you know, whatever your situation is, um, the more you stress over it and um, feel angry about it, the more complicated I think it is to heal from it. Uh, yesterday, I was with um, a 
counselor, I do uh, supervision. Well, this is a little tricky here. I must have not cut it all the way around. Um, but anyway, we were at uh, Shaker Town in, uh, this, in Mount Pleasant, Kentucky, and uh, just doing a little tour there yesterday. And I met an amazing couple. They were the Brinkleys, and they uh, were from the Somerset, Kentucky area. But um, we, of course, were all masked up, and they were masked up uh, for the, during this COVID-19. Uh, this one's a, the reason why I'm having a, a problem with this. This one is not as ripe on one end, so it's really kind of being a little hateful about it coming out around that pit. So I'm just gonna scoop out what I can get out of that and leave the hard part in there. Um, but anyway, I met the Brinkleys and we had a wonderful, sweet conversation. They have been married 60 years. And uh, we were talking about what makes marriage work after 60 years. Let me wash my hands, I'll be right back. And so they were just the sweetest couple ever, but uh, they said he was a big jokester, and he is uh, 88, she's 81, and they've been married 60 years. Um, they uh, said, you know, doing a lot of things together using quality time was really important, and, and their strong faith in God had kept them together in good times and bads. Now I'm adding a half of an onion. Um, some people use red onion in this. I'm, I'm actually using a Vidalia onion in this. So a half of an onion sliced up. Next I'm going to dice up a cucumber and I'm gonna leave the skin on it. So I'm just gonna take this fork and score down through here. The great thing about cucumbers right now is they're, they're out of the garden. Uh, so. I, this just kind of breaks up the outside fiber a little bit and makes it uh, a little easier to eat. So, what I'm going to do with this, just slice down. Certainly, I'm not a professional cook, but I certainly love to cook and just love sharing with uh, people. So, I'm going to just dice this up a little bit. And most of the time, you won't find cucumber in a guacamole salad, but this, uh, for summer, this just gives it a splendid crunch. And uh, just it just gives it a really flesh, excuse me, fresh, fresh taste. So, Dice it on up. Okay, I'm going to add this to the bowl. So, so far we've got uh, avocado in here, onion, and cucumber. Now, on the, the recipe I saw, it also called for one jalapeno and cherry tomatoes sliced in half. I'm not adding that to my guacamole salad because both of those, tomatoes and jalapenos, are considered the nightshades and they uh, contain some enzymes and chemicals in there that can be, uh, that can aggravate rheumatoid arthritis. So for me, I'm not gonna add those, but if they don't bother you, certainly, a small jalapeno chopped up fine, and uh, some uh, cherry tomatoes, which is gonna add a little more color to it. The next thing I'm gonna add is um, garlic powder. Now, sometimes, and it's, oh, uh, there's about a tablespoon and a half in here. Uh, sometimes I'll add fresh garlic uh, to this, just press it and add some fresh garlic. The next thing I'm gonna add is the juice of a freshly squeezed lemon and 
the juice of a freshly squeezed lime. Lime goes great with the avocado. And then finally, I'm, I've just mixed some pepper, ground black pepper, and some Himalayan sea salt. So I'm just going to put that in here. And you can use as much pepper as you want in this. And then all you do is just toss it all up together. So if you buy guacamole at the store, lots of times it's been done in a, some sort of a mixer and it's a super uh, smooth texture. This is supposed to be a chunky salad and I've got it all mixed up. Get it all mixed up here. This is great uh, if you can eat things like tortillas, which I don't now. Uh, but it's great with crackers. It's great with tortillas. And uh, but for myself, I'm going to be serving this as a side to grilled salmon uh, later this evening. Now, when you're cooking with avocado, if you let them sit in the air very long after you slice them, they're going to turn a little bit brown. And so the lemon juice in, and the lime juice in this is going to keep it a very vibrant color. So. Got it done, it's pretty easy. And here is how it looks. And I'm gonna give it a taste. Mm. Nice little crunch. A good lemon taste with garlic. Very fresh tasting. I hope you'll try it. And, um, if you haven't had avocado, just try and and see what you think. I always say if I make something and I don't like it, I have lots of friends that I can share it with. But this has become a staple with me. Um, it's the fat in the avocado is a very healthy fat. It's something that I need for healing my connective tissue and my joints. And so it's just been a really good recipe for me. So I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. I hope you'll try it. And uh, until I see you again, just keep living.